So my final race from Punchtown on day one before I hand you over to Martin is going to be the War of Attrition. Novice hurdle over three miles. It's a grade one event. And number one is Bus Bucephalus Idea for David Robertson. Jinka Trail for Martin Leader. Mangum Doodle for Craig Allen. Prophet's Passion for David Hooley. Sonning Eye for Darren Thompson. Atonement for Joshua Sutherland. Discoed Fields for Craig Allen. Fire for Joshua Sutherland. Hidden Persuader for Leon Van Rensburg. October Sunset for Pontypool Racing. Prince Sense for Alex Cherry. Spritz for Catherine for Thomas Rogers. And Zoff for Stu Gray. Makes up another 13. So over three miles. The rain's coming down here at Punches Down. Racing. So we wait for him to approach the first of the 12 hurdles. It's going to be October sunset that leaders over it. But reluctantly, that disco field who doesn't really want to take it up either. And three wide, and neither does Prince Sent. So it's going to be a tactical race in the mud here. As the rain pours down, we go through the first couple of furlongs. This is going to be this October sunset that finally settles to the two length advantage. Disco Falls has taken a keen hold and shuffles back and allows Prince Sense to move into the second. So it's October Sunset leads him over the second. He's got about a three length advantage from Prince Sense, Bussifsil's idea and the Disco Fields. The grey up against the fence is Sonny Life for Darren Thompson. They're followed through by Mangum Doodle and Jinka Trow. And on the inside, up against the rail is Zoff for Stu Grey. And then Atonement and Fire are together towards the rear, as well as Hidden Persuader. Between those is Spritzer Catherine. Prophet's passion for David Hooley is last of all. Probably 15 to 20 lengths off the lead. Plenty of racing still to come as they go over the third. That's October sunset that still leads. Slow jump out the rear by Prophet's passion, being hurried along a little bit. And a few reminders. They've been strung out a little bit now by this October sunset. Setting a reasonable pace. A four length advantage from Princess in second, Disco to Fields is third, Sunny Eye the Grey up against the fence is fourth, and then David Robertson's Buffalo's idea on the outside of that. As you go to the fourth, so with another eight flights to take, it's still going to be this October sunset. It's got a six length advantage now from Princess, Disco to Fields, Buffalo's idea, Sunny Eye. And a length or so back to Jinka Trail and Zoff, and the first of Josh Sutherland's horses out wide, Atonement. Craig Allen's Mangum Doodle and Hidden Persuader for Josh Sutherland together. Brings the row as Josh's second run up the fire. And then a length and a half back to Spritzer Catherine. And a further two to Prophet's Passion as this October sunset stretches them out and reaches the fifth. Takes it well. All strung out here. Indian file. And it is October sunset still leading by about five to Prince Sense of Alex Cherry in second. Disco to Fields for Craig Allen. That's out of that is Bus for this idea. The Grey's moved off the rail now, Sonny Knight. Jinka Trout. Atonement moved up a little bit now, with Hidden Persuader trying to make up some ground. As they come to the six, which will be halfway through the flights, still have well over a mile and a half to travel, and it's October sunset that's going to lead them into it. And Prince Sense and Bus for this idea. Disco to Fields has dropped back to join Sonny Knight. So go over the six. Of slower jumps all round. The two are getting a little bit disconnected now. Five lengths off the changes in pack are Prophet's Passion and Spritzer Catherine. Also drifting off the back of the pack at the moment is Craig Allen's Mangum Doodle. We've still got a mile and a half to travel as they come to the seventh. So another five to take. It's October sunset. It leads down to just three lengths now from Sonny Eyes moving to second. Bossless idea out wide. Up against the fences, Prince Sense. Craig Allen's disco field starts to make a move through. Atonement making a better better position now, along with Hidden Persuader. And then you've got Jinka Trow, Mangum Doodle. Fires off. Prophet's Passion and Spritzer Catherine. We're starting to lose sight of. As we come down to the next, it's October the sunset that leads him over it from Disco Fields on his outside. In between horses is Prince Sense. The one that's just slowing back up again now is Sonning Eye the Grey and shuffled right back. The two that have moved through ominously a fire and atonement for Josh Sutherland moving up from the rear into the fourth and fifth. And this is October sunset as we come down to a mile to travel. It's October sunset from Prince Sense, Atonement and Fire, Disco Fields and Jinka Trow. Followed through both Phyllis Idea and Hidden Persuader trying to make up a little man signing eyes, shuffle back towards the rear. Prophet's Passions just got two in behind him, which is off and spritz of Catherine as they go over the ninth. So October sunset now being challenged by Fire. These two are starting to pull away along with Prince Sense from Disco Fields has moved over towards the rail now, but it's still this Octus, October 
sunset under a little bit of pressure now with six furlongs still to run and three to take and it's October sunset and fire from Prince Sense and then there's about three or four back to Disco Fields and they're all being pushed along now and it's the fire that jumps better so with five furlongs to go it's fire from October sunset being pushed through again on the inside and this October sunset doesn't want to give up his lead from Josh Sutherland's fire and about two back to Prince Sense the other's not really making up much ground at the moment but we've still got half a mile to travel and it's October sunset from fire Prince Sense starting to give way now to Mangan Doodle has moved up into third running on really well now is Prophet's Passion who is in last for most of the race but it's still October sunset and fire as they go over the penultimate they land together from Mangan Doodle on the outside Disco Fields is trying to run on Prophet's Passion still got a little bit to do but it's fire and October sunset having the best of it is Mangan Doodle on the outside so with two and a half furlongs to run and just one to take it's fire and October sunset Mangan Doodle Disco Fields and Prophet Passion still holding on is this October sunset on the inside fire trying to get past on the outside is Mangan Doodle and it's fire that finally just noses in front inside the furlong and a half as October sunset starts to give way and it's fire and Mangan Doodle just by a neck it's fire fire starts to pull away into the last gets over it well jumps a length advantage and we've only got half a furlong to run in and it's fire running on really well into second is hidden persuade persuader Disco's field just trying to make hang on for third fourth I think was Prophet's passion for David Hooley a uh, well timed win there by fire for Josh Sutherland takes the war of attrition novice hurdle by a couple of lengths in the end running on Leon Van Rensburg's Hidden Persuader. Third was Disco Fields for Craig Allen. Fourth was Profit's Passion for David Hooley. And fifth was Atonement for Joshua Sutherland. I'll hand you over to Martin for the rest of the day.